Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. A lot of new subscribers to the channel. Yeah, I'm Gav, uh, I'm big into cars, bikes, motorbikes, anything with an engine, turbos, ECUs, mapping, just a bit of everything. That's my sort of style. I don't do any home stuff or anything like that, I just kind of keep it towards cars and bikes only. I'll show you guys in a couple of wee projects I've got on just now. So RX-7 over there somewhere, uh, you guys have probably seen that thing just now, yeah it's not got a subframe or wheels because uh, we're putting a BMW M4 gearbox in that so that's up and going but at present I'm still waiting for engineers to make me stuff so it's frustrating, four months I've been waiting, they've still not even started yet. Over there I've got a Suzuki Bandit which I will be putting a turbo on and converting to EFI. Uh, this here is an absolute mess, you'll probably see that video this week sometimes. Basically um, I'm putting an EFI kit on it so it's fuel injected, um, well it will be, and uh, it's got a turbo as well so that'll be pretty cool. So yeah, so that's basically me, that's basically my wee setup in my wee garage like this. Just by myself. Normally have a couple of pals, either Greg or Jacob or Martin, come round to help me out from time to time. We normally have a few drinks and uh, see where we end up. It always ends up messy and whatever we make always, well, it's questionable. I always like that statement, it's not stupid if it works. Or if it works, it's not stupid. Yeah, one of them too. But yes, if you're watching this video, you will have seen by the title, I've bought a lathe. And I'm absolutely buzzing about it. I've wanted a lathe for years, and we're talking around about 10 years I've wanted a lathe. So eventually it's come to the time where I've gotten a bit of money, saved up all my pennies, and uh, yeah, I've invested in one. So yeah, what I'm doing just now is I'm just cleaning a bit of space in the garage where I'm going to put it, and I'm um, just waiting for the delivery driver to come just now. He's, I think he's come from an hour away, so... Yeah, I just thought I'd get a wee video getting this lathe and uh, trying to move it. Not only that, but I really need to tidy up this workbench. But let's face it, that's only going to take us around about mm, one second. Hey, two hours later. <laughs> I'm joking. That's it. All cleared up, ready to go. Now we just need to get some project. While I'm waiting on the delivery guy coming with my lathe. Ooh. Some fancy stuff here, so this is an ECU for uh, uh, MX-5 or Miata if you're from America and this is the ECU for the quad. I hear a big truck. Oh yes! There she is! Hey. Yes! <laughs> Fucking buzzing! This place looks like a proper workshop now. Four jaw chuck, minted. <laughs> what a legend, absolute legend. So I am a happy, happy boy right now. So, let me introduce you to my list. This is a Harrison M300 metric lathe. As you can see here, it's got loads of different screw cutting for a screw cutting box, uh, different speeds obviously, and uh, it's come with, which I didn't actually realise it came with, a four jaw chuck. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just loving this. So basically, there's a couple of things I need to do. Um, for instance, this here, the handle's broken off it, so I'll... Uh, I'll even lathe myself up a wee handle. Um, here as well, as you can see, this is an adjustable tool piece, but this tool piece here is actually bent slightly. So um, you can see this one's bent here, and this itself has got a wee snap bit in there. So I'll just get a, another tool post, but what I'm going to do today is uh, get this pieces on it here. This is just uh, an accurate sort of uh, level. So at this point here, I need to come up at the back, just Fuck it, it's the midges bow here, um, and same on the other side. And the re how I do that is just by adjusting them we at the feet to raise it and lower it, just to get it perfectly level and uh, get to it. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Absolutely perfect. Perfect and level, ready to go. Anyway guys, that was just a really short video. I'm buzzing it's here. I have to wait for an inverter to come because I'm single phase in here. This is a three phase uh, lathe obviously. So um, I've got one coming, it's a 4 kilowatt one. I think this, these motors are a 2.2 kilowatt, so 4 just overkill. Uh, I'll stick it on the wall, we'll get uh, probably Greg to see if he'll maybe come round. If he's busy it's okay. We'll just run in some single phase uh, wire into it and uh, should be able to start this thing up and start making bits. Oh, just, uh, just buzzing. Right guys, uh, you take care now and uh, we'll catch you in the next bit. Cheers.